Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, I'm going to be working on some organization around our home, restocking and organizing the fridge, party prep and more. So a lot happening in today's video. I hope that you enjoy it and stay tuned because I'll be sharing how to enter the $50 gift card giveaway that I'm doing in today's video. So first I was sharing a few glimpses at our morning and after breakfast we started homeschool. We have gotten into a good homeschooling routine this year that's been working great most weeks and something we've been implementing into their school the last few months is the IXL app. I can't say enough good things about this app. We love it and it has helped so much. IXL is sponsoring today's video so thank you to them. I'm really grateful that we found out about this app because we have seen such an improvement in the boys learning since they started using IXL. IXL is a personalized approach to learning, so every feature is designed to see where your child is in their learning. It supports and challenges them at the right level so they can learn at a pace that's perfect for them. So we use IXL as a supplemental material along with our regular homeschool, and the boys each have their own section in the app. Kyle has been learning about short and long vowels, and this lesson was so great. It really helped him, and he just completely understood it by the end of the lesson and if he answered a question incorrectly I love how IXL helped him to understand it better by explaining it further Owen is learning to read clocks right now and so this fun 12, lesson he was doing on the IXL app was perfect he loved it <laughs> and once he completed it as usual they were both begging to do another lesson if you want to try out IXL I will have my link and code down below in the description box you can get 20% off your first year or month Okay, so we are going to start off the organizing with this hall closet. As you can see, it was pretty messy in here. So I just needed to reset this closet and I also wanted to organize things a little bit different in here. I needed to have more room to store games and also craft items. And so I just wanted to switch things up a little bit, reorganize, and I love how the closet turned out. I think it's definitely a lot more functional now. So like I said earlier, stay tuned because there's a lot going to be happening in this video after we get this closet organized we're going to do some bathroom organization and then I'm going to take you all the way back to the middle of January when I put away all of my Christmas decor and got all of that organized and then I'm going to share some of the party prep that I did when we had a huge party at our house with 40 people on the back porch and then after that we'll go grocery shopping and clean out and restock the fridge I do want to go ahead and share with you how you can enter Enter the $50 gift card giveaway that I'm doing in today's video so I'm giving away a $50 Amazon gift card to one of you so that one of you can buy some organization products for your home on me so as usual the details on how to enter this giveaway will be typed up here on the screen and then the details will also be typed up down below as well so I was restocking that shelf with toilet paper and when I restock I usually will fill up that entire shelf. I just figure why not keep a large stock of items that you are constantly repurchasing, especially if they are items you can store long term. We do live pretty far out in the country, so I try to keep a good stock of certain items on hand. I'm now just continuing to work my way through the shelves, going through all of the items, seeing if there's anything I can get rid of, and just getting everything reorganized. I wanted to show you these white containers that I have up here on this third shelf because they are from the Dollar Tree. Always check the Dollar Tree for organizational products on a budget and you could also check places like Walmart, Ross, Marshalls, and of course Amazon. Thank you. 
So these four plastic bins on this shelf are from Walmart and I'm going to switch up what I keep in all of these bins except for that emergency bin. And here in a minute, I'll show you what I'll be storing in the other three bins. These large baskets that are on the floor are from Best Choice Products. And in this first basket, I have all of the boys' puzzles and using these storage bags from Amazon for each puzzle has been such a game changer. Before the puzzles would just be in a pile in this basket and all mixed up, but now each puzzle can be in a separate bag and it's worked out so great. I should have done this a long time ago. You could also use these bags for storing games, toys, just a lot of great uses and they do offer them in different sizes as well. This second large basket used to be all of my party supplies and my gift wrapping supplies, but I was always having to dig through this large basket for those little gift wrapping supplies and I could hardly ever find everything. It was just thrown in here together. So I decided I'm going to separate the two categories and put all of those gift wrapping items into this smaller bin. I'm not sure why I didn't do this earlier because it's going to make it so much easier. I can just grab this bin and take it out to the table where I'm wrapping gifts. Okay, so I'm taking the labels off of these three containers. I used to keep bathroom products in these two middle containers and it just wasn't very practical because for the amount of products that I actually stored in these bins, we can just keep those in the bathroom cabinet and then that way it will free up a little bit more space in the closet. So I headed to my office, got out my Cricut and started to make labels for these three bins. I've had this little Cricut Joy for two years now and I have loved it. It is so great, I love the small size it's easy to store and it's just really fun to add the finishing touch of labels to your organized space So these three bins are now going to be gift wrapping, craft paper, and organization. So in the organization bin, I'll just have all of my smaller organization products and different things like that that I have on hand, my little label maker. And now this is everything leaving the closet, items that are going to a new space in the home, and then a bag of trash. This closet is done and it is looking so much better and I think it's also going to be a lot more functional as well. I can actually walk into the closet it now. I'll start off down here on the floor and just give you a really quick tour of the closet. So here in the back I've got this big basket and in here I've got some music books and just different things for the cello and the piano and some other storage. The vacuum is right here in the corner and then I've got my little step stool and then also some paperwork. I've got two more of those large baskets and this one back here in the corner has all of my party supplies and then I just threw those mailing envelopes on top of the basket and I've also got some boxes back there in the corner. Corner. The rolls of wrapping paper are just behind these baskets. Okay, so back up to the first shelf. On this side is all of the craft items. So we've got the extra crayons, markers, glue, tape, paint, all of that stuff is right here at the kids level so that they can easily reach it. The back corners of this first shelf are now completely empty. So I've got even more room for storage in this closet now. And in these two baskets are light bulbs and then cords. Now up to the second shelf, I now have room to stack all of the 
games right here on the same shelf. Now they're not on the floor and stuffed back in the corner. They're just right here, easy to reach. And way back in that corner is my little basket of sewing items. And then I've got a larger basket of candle and oil items. Like you saw, I switched up what I have in these three large plastic containers. And I think this is going to work out so much better. And then over here on the right side of this shelf, I've got these three smaller containers. And in the first one is all of my Cricut items. And then I've got envelopes and cards. And then in this third container is where we store all of our batteries. Moving on to the third shelf up here, I've got two more of those white plastic containers. These ones are from the Dollar Tree. And on the entire back portion of this third shelf is where I store all of the toilet paper. So we've got quite a bit of toilet paper up here. And these two bins stayed the same, but I did go through them a little bit, kind of reorganized the items, got rid of a couple of things. And I also have my bag of letter boards right there. Up on the top shelf, I've got some boxes, my steamer, a little fan, the humidifier, an extra pillow still in the plastic. And then we've got those three different blanket bags that hold extra pillows, blankets, sheets, comforters, all of that. And that is everything that is in this closet. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And most of the organization in this closet did work out pretty well. There was just a couple of things that I needed to switch up. So now let's hope that I can keep this closet organized and clean. This closet gets used every single day. And so it can be hard to keep clean sometimes, but we just need to try to make an effort to put things back where they go and keep things up off of the floor. Okay, so this is Levi's bathroom, and this is also the bathroom that all of the boys use for brushing their teeth, and I fix their hair in here and everything. This top drawer needed to be restocked, so I was working at cleaning these bins and restocking them. This set of organizational bins was from Amazon. Really great for a bathroom drawer and just helps to keep everything organized. So I'm just organizing their toothbrushes, toothpaste, comb. I've got some little bath bombs and bath toys toys, all of the things are now restocked and organized into this drawer. So now we're jumping all the way back to the middle of January when I took down my Christmas decorations. I was starting to prep for that party that we were going to have and so I wanted to take down all of the Christmas decor, clean the house, and just get everything ready. As I was taking all of the ornaments off of the tree, I was trying to see if there was anything that I wanted to get rid of. I didn't really want to pack anything away unless I for sure wanted to keep it. And I was trying to organize my Christmas decor a little bit better that way next year at Christmas time, it will be a lot easier to unpack everything and decorate. So as I'm taking the decor off the tree, I'm putting it into these little black plastic containers from the Dollar Tree, and I'll just be stacking those containers inside of my larger Christmas bins. It was really cute. Levi was having a lot of fun helping me take down the Christmas decor. 
So I have a large bag to store the Christmas tree and that came with this Christmas tree from King of Christmas. And then for all of the rest of the Christmas decor, I have these two large black containers. The one I think I got from Lowe's and then the second one is from Costco. Usually at the beginning of the year or right around Christmas time is when they will bring out these large black bins with the yellow lids and they are perfect for Christmas decor or anything else that you want to store. So I'm taking all of the Christmas decor out of the living room, off the mantle, and then I'm going to move into the kitchen and then take everything off of the piano. I was trying to organize the Christmas decor a little bit better than I did last year. Last year, I just threw everything into the bin, stuffed it in there, put on the lid, and when you go to decorate for Christmas, it just definitely makes it a lot harder. You have to completely empty out the bins and try to organize everything before you decorate. So I was trying to organize everything into this bin. I had all of the Christmas tree decor in those little containers, and then I was trying to keep all the garlands together, all the little trees together, together and I do have quite a few of those berry sticks so usually I will just bunch them together and wrap them with a rubber band. Okay, so I didn't film it, but I spent two days cleaning the house, cleaning the back porch, getting ready for that party. And now it's the day before the party and we are just working at setting everything up on the back porch. And I also wanted to restock this fridge with drinks. I wanted to have the little fridge on the back porch fully stocked with a variety of drinks and then also have the beverage fridge inside fully stocked with a variety of drinks as well. It just makes it really fun if people have a lot of options. So this party was a couples bridal shower casual party and it was just couples no kids and it was really fun we had games in the backyard some good food and this bridal shower was for my brother-in-law Jesse and my soon-to-be sister-in-law Melodia and we are actually currently renovating their house and trying to get that complete before they come back from their honeymoon in a couple weeks if you haven't watched that series yet I will have it linked down below be sure that you catch up on all of the episodes and stay Stay tuned to see their house transform. So it was really special to get to host their bridal shower at our house here on the back porch. Like I said, we had about 40 people back here and it was just a really fun day. The party started at two o'clock on a Saturday and lasted until late that night. We had the fire going, so once it got dark, everyone was gathered around the fire and some people were inside playing games. Just had a wonderful time with family and friends. So after I got everything set up on the back porch, I decided to make a quick backdrop to go behind their chairs where they would be opening their gifts. 
Like I said, it was just a casual party. We weren't doing a ton of decorations, but I thought I'd just make something really quickly. And the only type of wood that we had was plywood, which isn't preferable when you're making a backdrop, but this worked. I painted it black and I used my Cricut to make their initials. And then we tried to make a balloon arch, but it was a little bit of a fail. Balloon arches are a lot more difficult than I thought they would be, but at least we got a few balloons around here and it ended up looking just fine. My sister-in-law had arranged some fun couples games that we played in the backyard, and then all of my sister-in-laws helped with the food, which was amazing. I didn't have to do much of the food prep since I was hosting and doing all of the cleaning and the setting up, so that was a huge help and was really grateful that they did so much of the food prep. Okay, so now we are back to just a couple of days ago when I restocked the fridge. So as you can see, the fridge was looking very empty. So we're gonna head to the grocery store and get some food. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul and I had wanted to go into Fry's and Food City as well, but I didn't have time. So I just went to Walmart and the total for all of these groceries from Walmart was right around $200. So starting off over here, we've got fruit and veggies. I've got bananas and potatoes, apples, oranges, lemons, and some baby carrots. For salads, wraps, and taco salad, I got some spinach and spring mix and then romaine hearts. I also got a package of some bell peppers and then some cucumbers. This very large block of cheese, and I'll probably save about this much for slicing for sandwiches and wraps, and then the rest of this I will be shredding. Back here I got two packages of this Too Good yogurt, and then I got cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, some of this Bolt House Farms green juice, a package of grapes, string cheese, and then a little container of sour cream, some whole grain crackers. This little bag of shredded carrots I had gotten for my salad, but I think I'm going to end up putting this in a soup today, and then I got a package of celery, which this will be for soup and also snacks. A few bunches of organic broccoli. And then back here, I didn't get too many pantry items just because next month I will be doing a huge restock of the pantry. And then I've got a big Azure order coming and then I'll also do a big Costco run and just restock the entire pantry. So I just got a couple of things at Walmart. Some Kinder's barbecue sauce. This is our favorite barbecue sauce and they used to have it in the big glass bottles at Costco and they switched to these little squeeze bottles which I'm not sure why I really miss the big glass bottles they were a better price and you can't always find them at Costco anymore so I just have to grab them at Walmart a large jar of olives the boys just love these for a snack and then I got some ranch salsa soy sauce and then some pasta sauce we've really been liking this brand of granola bars at Walmart and we've been packing a lot of lunches lately since we've been going down and working on that renovation house so having things like granola bars and chips in the pantry is really nice I'll also be making some homemade make granola bars today so stay tuned for that walmart also has the best price on organic broth so organic beef broth veggie broth or chicken broth two packages of whole wheat spaghetti and then a big bag of jasmine rice i'm not going to have time to make homemade granola unfortunately so i had to grab some crunchy raisin bran but i did grab a package of sliced almonds because i will be making granola hopefully here in the next week these tortilla chips are for taco salad and soup and then like i said we've been packing a lot of lunches lately because of been going down and working on the renovation house so I grabbed some chips that we can put in our lunches and I'm trying out two new tortilla brands this is Albuquerque tortilla and then this one is Alejandro's tortilla and bakery and it's local here in Tucson and then I just got two items in the freezer section the dark sweet cherries and then some broccoli I already do have some veggies and frozen fruit left in the freezer and then out in our two deep freezers we do have meat so we've got pork and beef out in those deep freezers
In a couple weeks, I'll be doing a big restock of the pantry and getting an Azure order, going to Costco and all of that. But today I was just trying to get some food into the fridge. Life has been so busy lately because we've been working on that renovation house and just have a lot going on. And we do live quite a ways from the grocery store. So I don't always have time to go and get groceries. That is why I want to get my pantry and freezer stocked a little bit better. Um, that's just really nice because then I don't have to go for groceries as often since we do live pretty far away from town. A couple of months ago, I quit buying shredded cheese and I started just buying big blocks of cheese and shredding my own cheese. It tastes so much better. It melts so much better. And I would highly recommend just shredding your own cheese. It doesn't take that long, especially if you have one of these shredders. My mom recently got me this cheese shredder and it definitely makes it so much easier. I've really loved it. I'll be sure and have the link for it down below if you want to try it. So now the fridge is restocked. I'll give you a quick overview of it here. I always do show this container that I have in the fridge. This is my meat container and it's so nice to have a container in your fridge that is solely dedicated just to thawing out meat. So I can take some meat out of the freezer, put it into this container, and then that is the meat that we'll use for the next couple of days. Also want to mention stay tuned because I'm going to share two recipes here in just a couple of minutes. So I'm going to make a creamy chicken noodle soup without the chicken because like I said, we only have beef and pork in our freezer and I really wanted to make a creamy chicken noodle soup and I did have chicken broth in the pantry. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up some celery. I chopped up about one whole bunch of celery, put that into my pot of boiling water and then I added in my whole wheat spaghetti noodles and also that entire bag of shredded carrots. And while that's cooking, I'm going to quickly clean up the kitchen and then make the thickener for the soup. So to make the thickener, I just melted some butter in this small pan and then I whisked in some flour, whisked in milk and about a quarter of this container of chicken broth. There's no exact measurements for this recipe so you can just kind of watch and get an idea of how much I used, I guess. I usually just kind of guess at it. The seasonings that I added were salt, pepper, oregano, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and then I drained all the water out of the soup, added the thickener to the soup and also the the rest of the chicken broth. Let that boil for a little while and then I dished it and we added shredded cheese on top. And if you let the soup just sit on the stove with the lid on for maybe like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, it will get even thicker and it was just really delicious. So 
now I'm making homemade granola bars and I have been making this recipe a lot lately. This is my mother-in-law's recipe and it is the best granola bars. You have to try them. I will type up the recipe down below in the description box. So I hope that you enjoyed today's home organization video and hopefully it gave you some organization ideas and some organization inspiration and motivation. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to enter that giveaway that I have going on. And thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel. I'll see you next week on Tuesday with a new video. Bye.